Welcome back everyone, Christine here on Serious Gaming, continuing my walkthrough of Banner Saga on the hard difficulty. Hmm, quite a lot of Varl, 366 Varl and 85 human fighters. Viking fighters. Hmm, Doludin is a spearman. Hmm. By Had... Hadrabarg. That's a lot of Varl for some missing cattle. What? A couple of days back, sent word to Strand about the cattle. Didn't expect an army. He looks pleased with himself until it sinks in that you're, you aren't here on his behalf. Where have your cattle gone? When no, my bones boy seen men up the hills carrying them away. Don't know how many men who, don't know many men who can ho hoist the whole cow by himself. Scalflings out here maybe? Could they have Varl working for them? Not from what the governor told me. I'm going to take a look around and get camp set up. The peasant spits, his eyes actually anxiously darting about as the caravan sets up tent. tents. We'll be here no more than day. There's silver for any food you've got. For hundreds of Varl? Are you serious? Whatever you're willing to sell. You're thinking of squatting? Not enough room for a couple of hunters here. Forget hundreds of... Shut up, hear that? Where's Luden? It's, it's faint, sounds like fighting and something else. Hakon takes off at the run. Oh yeah. We continue. And we're gonna have... We're gonna meet the dredge. Alright, so I have no control here. I have to move in a specific way. This teaches you waypoints. And also that Spearman can attack from a dino. Diagonal tile. And uh, he, his attack was deflected, and now he's wounded. Because he's an idiot like that. Hello. Okay, so Akon. I'm going to hit him with power on his armor. There's three dredge, it's nothing to serious. Now I'm gonna move Mogger uh, right here. It's not a good position where he's at right now but I'm gonna deal with it. This enemy is tough, but I'm gonna hit him with a powerful attack from the courtesy of Gunnolf. Uh, seven. And he hits me with two. Alright, I'm gonna get the last hit. You see the problem with Gun Elf, and he does have a problem, major issue actually. Uh, is that. Oh. Is that he generally takes a lot of damage, and I do mean a lot of damage. Um. Now, if I don't kill him. And I can't kill him. If I don't kill him, I'm gonna get wounded. Uh, still, I want to level up hack more so than anything else. Okay, so I got uh, the horn right here, and I can use it to replenish all power for units that have lost it. If I kill enemies. Alright. Right and this guy is dead. Mounted. And just the power tank. Good. I'm dead. Has leveled up. Good. Luden was injured. You're, you're trying to get yourself killed, Luden. What are you doing? I was trying, finding, uh, trying to get the shot in between the plates. You never seen a dredge before, boy. What kind of idiot? Break their armor first. Where did they come from? We didn't even see them. They were just there. Hakan goes to work. Wagner lies face down. The future Varl King's light is motion. Less. Aside from a spreading pool of blood, Wagner's dead. Alright, that was quick, but don't think uh, that uh, 
that it's gonna get any easier. In fact, it's gonna get a lot harder. We're gonna switch character point of view. So we're going here to Skork, or whatever you pronounce that as. And we take control of a guy named Rooked, a hunter, and his daughter, Alette. Where did that thing come from? Shh, stay close. I think it saw us. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Now this is another tutorial sequence, basically, so that this enemy is not really powerful at all. But... It does teach you the deployment. I have... Rook and... This doctor. Now I'm gonna reduce the armor of the dredge. Before I hit him with a light. Now units cannot die, but they can be injured, which means they lose their effectiveness. Now, normally this kind of enemy would try and... Damn it. To level up a let or to level up Rook. I think I'm gonna go with Rook. Do you want to level up both of them? These are you can get away with not leveling up certain units. You can level units up to level 5, by the way. But in this particular case... With these two units, I want to level up both of them because I will be forced to use them. So, Alette. Was that a dredge? Alette, Alette looks calm, but you can tell your, her heart is about to beat right out of her chest. It was. Let me see. Are you hurt? No, I'm... I'll be fine. When the dredge attacked your cart... And the axe bolted, it spilled most of your supplies. You can see more dark figures moving through the trees when you glance that direction. All that food, that's the last we're going to get before winter. Do we... What do we do? Don't run, let me think. Um, if we hurry, we can gather them before more dredge appear. I can see them in the trees. Are you sure about this? Yes, I am actually sure. This is the correct choice. Don't pick anything else. You're just wasting supplies. No, we have to try. Be quick. And yes, you all get supplies. Otherwise, you will not have any of them, and you'll be screwed over. I'll let calms the axe while you frankly toss supplies back into the cart. More dredge emerge, but you manage to get the cart moving again before they can close in. The colossal figure slowly recede into the distance. Uh, and you get 15 supplies. Yes. You can see how many days. Yes, yes, yes. So I've got 18 days of supplies with two people. So, yeah. Okay. The number of people you have in your camp, van, clansmen, fighters, barrel, uh, determines how fast your supplies will uh, dwindle. I never expected to see the dredge with my own eyes. What happened in the north? Already we see more between the trees as we approach our home, and Alette grips my hand tight. We must find Ivor. Okay, so we need to find a guy by the name of Ivor. And I have 13 renown right here. Okay. That other caravan has a lot more renown than I do right now. It's split between the two caravans and you'll play them at different points in the story. The, the one with Rook is far more difficult than the one with the Varl military expedition. The Varl, yeah, expedition, whatever. Uh, Rook. Ivor. The normal Varl in question towers of the men in the training field. He squints as you approach. Already back, Huntsmaster? Thought you'd be tomorrow. Dredge everywhere. Dredge? How did they get past through Greyhorn? 
You must have broken through the fort. The fighters nearby have stopped sparring. They gather around you. Damn it, they'll be here soon if we're, they're not already. You hear screams. From the outskirts, people are running for, toward the Great Hall. Ivor turns to one of the older boys in his group of fighters. Egil, take a look to the Great Hall. Tell the chieftain what's happening. The rest of you gather up as many people as you can. Come on, let. No, wait. I I want to help. Let them fight, Ivor. On this difficulty, you need their help. Why not invite some goats to join us too? You're asking for dead kids. I won't let anything happen to her. They'll have to deal with it sooner or later, Ivor. One now. Eggle, keep your shield up. We just hold them off until everyone's inside. Then we figure out what we do, what to do next. More shouts draw your attention to some houses atop a nearby hill. So you're gonna have some pretty difficult combat ahead of you, and it's well, they're not gonna be gentle on you. Suffice to say. Well, I accidentally stopped my recording and my show enough to reach our family number. Mere threatens to bubble over in panic. How long do we need to keep this up? Ever shakes his head unknowingly. That's a bad sign. No fucking shit, Sherlock. No fucking shit. Uh, anyway, Ivor is gonna be second, and there's a good bloody reason for that. So.
Bounces off the dredge's face, inches away from what you think is mine. It recoils and turns to the final left again. Echo pushes to her side, the Kyber throws himself between them, catching the mace on its shield, and it turns to paper, crushing the dredge's heat head into the shield. It does set up the suit, keeps moving around in the small lines. Let's get out of here, says Ivor. As he goes to check if the lines are crossing the nearby road, see if he can find any more survivors. First time. Rook's armor penetration actually because that's quite useful from my perspective. So give him all that bracelet uh, armor strength and low power. Gods, this is bad. I'm out of practice, bro. 
Look, as long as I've known you, you've always wormed your way out of talking about Rich. This would be time to start talking. I can tell you, they rarely stop for rest. The sooner we will follow us until we're tripping over tired of children, then they'll attack. Even after we wiped out we're wiped out, they'll keep coming trapped the corpse like the wreck. There's no end to them. How did anyone survive the Great Wars? Asked the Menders. I wasn't there. But I know you fought your fair share. Yeah, I've killed enough slag for one lifetime. That's why you're here to save us now. Don't lay that on me. Come on, let's get inside. Alright. Alright. Also, the bridge on the walkthroughs on the ocean for the following